What's up, Goth Gamer Nation? It's the angry, immersive sim nerd here. He's gonna take you back to the past to play the only games that are good. <laughs> the industry is rotten from within. I wanted to share my thoughts on the upcoming retro action adventure game Graven, which was briefly made available during something called the Game Awards. Don't know what that is. Don't rightly care. Intended as a spiritual successor to Hexen 2, Graven is being developed by Slipgate Ironworks and being published by 3D Realms uh, at an, as of now, unspecified time in 2021. And you know, up front. I'd say I'm not a big fan of what have come to be called boomer shooters. So the recent near oversaturation of these retro styled fast paced shooter games hasn't exactly lit my world on fire. I don't have the most nuanced explanation uh, for why I feel that way. Uh, maybe it's that there's sort of an air of complacency to it all. A willingness only to mimic and not to invent. You know, it's kind of like, well, I've seen that. There are, And there are modern exceptions, sure. Uh, New Blood's recent output comes to mind, but I'm just saying this isn't my favorite realm of games to dwell in. However, you do pique my interest when you tag something with Immersive Sim. That means you're trying to make a good game, and I like good games, and I want to play that, and I want to download your demo. You play as a nameless priest who committed some kind of crime and is being exiled to a dangerous place full of disease and death and chubby rats. Oh, rats! Really immersive. Those are chubby boys. They eat good. Love oh no! So immediately, the art style is quite striking. It's a fun, dark fantasy setting full of rust, decaying gothic architecture, and cobblestone streets piled with the dead. Soundtrack is really good from what I've heard. I like the uh, church organ and the fact that it just, it all sounds sort of sad, no matter how grand or epic it gets. The hub area that is shown off is very atmospheric and full of destructible objects that you can smash in rather extravagant fashion, both to find coins and just because it's incredibly satisfying. Yeah, look how immersive it is. Look at how, how he just absolutely pulps those barrels. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, dude. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Fuck. Hope you're proud of yourself now. Oh, he's cool. Press Alt F4. Alright, just hit it anyways. Yeah, alright. That was on their own. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's cool now. <laughs> There are a lot of modern touches that are used effectively, like the really fluid weapon animations whenever you pick up a new one. I like that trend in modern shooters, of having you pick up this incredibly detailed weapon model that you're probably not going to see anything but the ass end of for the whole game. And they're just kind of waving it around like, oh yeah, let's, let's take a look at this guy. What do we got going on? Uh, from what I can tell, the part of this game that functions like an immersive sim uh, isn't what the demo is a showcase for, or maybe in general, maybe they just don't plan to lean too heavy into that. Though you can't freely walk around this town, most of your time will be spent doing the handful of tasks that the first quest giver character gives you, with many functions and items and areas unavailable for the time being. There is, however, a lot of frenetic action on display, which does feel good, and also environmental puzzles which are rudimentary, you know, drop the barrel on the pressure plate kind of things, but I suppose that is what they're aiming for, and they they're hitting that target. You gotta look for an orifice for that lever. <laughs> an orifice. This is where you be coming uh. from, right? Yeah, like look yeah. at that lever and look 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 for the a like the ass of that lever or like the. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like I hope there is eventually more cause to walk around outside of combat and interact with the NPCs who all uh, speak very strangely, but fascinatingly. Your prayer book seems atypical. Is this an AI? <laughs> what do these words mean? All these messages look like they came from Castlevania too. Ah, uh, Alucard. Your prayer book seems atypical. <laughs> I cannot aid one who opposes the master. <laughs> I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> it's certainly trying to straddle the line between two things, and I can see that working potentially, but I feel like I'd need to see more of how the game will function in between quests, or whether there's any deeper sort of, you know, player choice or emergent gameplay, or other gameplay buzzwords I can be an elitist about. Bear in mind this is using uh, Steam's definition of immersive sim, which is often uh, uh, fucky. The action is enjoyable. It feels really visceral and satisfying. Yo. Oh, 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 very good. This is a very good weapon. I like the spells and how they mostly seem useful for things outside combat. You know, destroying obstacles and stuff. But also they they introduced the, the lightning spell in much the same way they introduced the lightning plasmid in Bioshock, where there's a bunch of enemies and some water. Uh, and maybe because of that, I expected it to function the same, but it kind of just stuns them no matter what. Oh, Get sap him whack him! Unlimited power! It's just like a stun. It doesn't actually kill them. It's kind of lame. Oh, it's just a stun. Shade. I'm, I'm sure they'll come up with some clever functionality for these, but yeah, I know I, I wanted to electrocute some people to die. Is, this, is that so wrong? <laughs> like halfway through that, I was like, who fucking cared? It's otherwise very fun and fast and fluid. It retains that uh, need for breakneck speed and particular timing, even with melee weapons. Oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> Come on. Don't hurt them. They're my friends. Oh, okay, no. Get ass, get ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do appreciate how seamlessly you move between hub area to quest area. And as you move through it, you see how they all uh, interconnect. And also that it rewards you for getting lost, essentially. I would check this out when it's finished, even though I'm not entirely sure it's what I'm hoping it will be. Or if it fits the completely subjective idea I have of what counts as an immersive sim. So, you know, maybe I should just expand my mind and loosen the uh, parameters of the definition. Or maybe this game could just, you know, at a goth club or something. I like goth chicks. What I experienced was charming enough and it seems like it was made with a lot of love behind it. <gasps> you can pet the dog. You can pet the dog. 10 out of 10. Best get it on, get it, give me your up dudes, Reddit. I don't know, if, if I play it, you'll probably know about it because I, I don't know how to do things for myself. I don't know how to stop. I don't know what would happen if I stopped it, I think. I think something bad would happen. Still enjoying games, you nerd. Bet you recorded all of that cyberpunk, because you know you're gonna try. I did. <laughs> oh, <no>. You fucker. <laughs> Graham, take a break. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Buy a mug. Buy a cassette. There's a couple left. Join a pa be a patron. Co comment. Comment on my videos. Just see you later. <laughs> it's the best part of this game.